here's what we done with the garden. Hey everybody, it's Saturday, which means it's chore day. All right, since the snow is gone, hopefully it's gone for good, who knows, uh, we are going to get into the garden and pull up all the old stuff that we, were, that we weren't able to pull up at the end of fall last year because the snow hit quickly. So we're going to work on that today. And then we're going to take this compost pile over here that's been cooking since the end or eh, middle of summer. So we're going to move that and put that into the garden and till that all in. And then we're going to cover it with a garden fabric to get the soil heated up, which is what we learned in our gardening class last Saturday and this morning. And then we're going to, we put a pile the trees here under the tarp that's what we use to build the fence sorry it's spinning fast over here last fall uh, we're still going to continue the fence um, along that one along that fence and then we're going to continue building the fence along here too so we're going to be almost completely fenced in with privacy fence so we're going to take that wood and move it over by the fence. We're going to take this mobile coop, move it over in between the two trees. And then I'm going to take the lane hen chicks and move them outside during the days. They're about a month and a half old now, so they're old enough to go outside. And it's nice enough outside. We'll just bring them back inside for the evenings. But so far that is what we have got going on today. And one more important thing we gotta do today is clean out the smelly brooders. <clears throat> We've lost in total <clears throat> two of the Cornish Cross chicks, the meat birds, but I've got them replaced today. So we're back up to 60. We've lost a couple of the turkeys but those have been replaced too. So we're still at 60, or sorry, six turkeys. So everybody's gonna clean out today too. Hopefully we can get this all done in one day. Thank you.
done cleaning out the brooders. Well, the turkeys, they're so good, I just gave them extra wood shavings. They're not dirty at all, and I think that's why I really love turkey chicks. We split up the meat birds. When we got them, there were some size differences, and there still is. So we put the large ones in this brooder and the smaller ones in this brooder, and hopefully they'll be safer that way. They don't get trampled by the larger ones, but there's only 12 large ones that I think maybe might have four or five, maybe even a week um, on them. I think these ones are definitely a lot older than these ones that we got them all at the same time. But the brooders are clean. They were disgusting because they're meat birds. And I said in last year's videos, meat birds are gross. They're smelly. They're, they're just gross. Uh, turkey chicks are awesome. They're clean. They're cuddly. They don't drink all of their water all the time. They're just great. And here is all the stuff we got out of the two brooders. It smells so bad. So we're going to start a compost pile because we just emptied ours into the garden. I'll show you that in just a little bit. But we're going to start a new compost pile with this because there's lots of it. <laughs> but we are almost done with our chores and it's almost 4.30. All right, and here's what we've done with the garden. Glacier's our chicken protector. <laughs> we closed the chickens in here, but we got the compost pile. We moved it into the garden and we spread it over there. So we locked the chickens in here for a little bit to help us spread it out. And they're doing a great job.